guys, I'm April. Welcome to the kitchen that I grew up in and where I learned how to cook. Fall is one of my favorite seasons, not only because all the leaves are changing and it's beautiful, but because here on the farm, it's harvest time. Not only are we harvesting corn and soybeans, but we also get a pretty good harvest of apples. We have about five apple trees here on the farm, and whatever our horses don't eat, we pick and turn into apple butter. Now apple butter is a spread similar to applesauce, but it's thicker and has more spices. My brother's favorite way to eat it is straight out of the jar with a spoon. You can use it to replace jelly in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, or my favorite way to have it is on top of a cooked ham. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is pick some apples. We have an old school apple picker that works great to reach the higher apples, but a ladder would work too. All you need to do is stick the apple on the prongs and crank. Using an apple peeler machine makes peeling and pouring the apples a lot easier, but you can also use a small knife if you don't have one. Make sure you guide the peeler with your thumb as the apple spins so that it peels and doesn't gouge out chunks of the apple. When you get towards the end, the core will stick in the peeler and you can just pull the apple off. Then, using a small knife, peel off any remaining apple peel that the machine might have missed. Bruises don't need to be removed, but you can if you want to. Then, cut your apple into quarters and put them in a large pot. Add the apple cider, apple cider vinegar, sugar, cinnamon, allspice, cloves, and stir. As your apples simmer, make sure to stir them occasionally to keep them from burning and sticking to the bottom. We also use a potato masher to help crush the larger chunks of apple. While our apple butter is simmering, we want to go ahead and sterilize our half pint jars by boiling them. We also want to sterilize our lids, and by boiling them, we also soften this rubber rim, which will help seal the jars and prevent any bacteria from getting in when we're done. put the jars in the hot water, you can either use a jar clamp like this, tongs, a big spoon, just be careful not to burn yourself with the hot water. Since half pint jars are smaller, they're going to tip over when you submerge them in the water. You don't have to reset them unless you really want to, just be careful not to burn yourself on the hot water. A way to avoid them tipping over is to place larger jars in the holder to fill in that empty space and keep the smaller jars snug. The jars only need to boil for about 5 to 10 minutes until they're sterilized. Then we can take them out, let them dry, and fill them with apple butter. Your apple butter is ready to go into the jars when it turns a dark caramel color and there are no large chunks of apples left. If you'd like, you can also run it through a food processor or a large sieve to break up any remaining chunks. Now that our apple butter is done simmering, we're gonna fill our jars. When you're filling them, you wanna make sure to only fill to the bottom rim. That'll give you about a half inch of head space, which allows for expansion while it cools. You'll also need to get a canning funnel. It's a little bit wider, so it fits in the jar, making the process a whole lot easier. Now we're just going to scoop out the apple butter and fill our jars. Then you're gonna take a sterilized lid, put it right on top, and seal it up. The last step is to put the filled apple butter jars into a hot water bath for about 10 minutes to seal them tight for long-term storage.
make sure your lids pop so you know it's sealed tightly. Before you put your apple butter into storage, make sure you let the jars cool completely and then label them with today's date so you know when they were made. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn on that little bell so you get notified when I have more recipes and DIY videos coming out for you. Thanks for watching. Bye!